If your objective is to create a PCB that is easy to manufacture in very large numbers with minimum size, then you should design it to contain surface-mounted components instead of through-hole components. In the image in this slide, you can see an example of what is possible to do with SMDs on board. A full computer on a tiny board, cheap. On this board are a highly integrated microprocessor, memory, communications and connectors for peripherals. Even the connectors are of the SMD type. In fact, the only component that is through-hole is the header. Creating something like this using through-hole components, if at all possible, would result in a board that was many times the size of this Raspberry Pi Zero and would cost many times more because most of the assembly would have to be done by hand. While your hobbyists prefer to work with through-hole components because they are easier to solder and repair, learning to work with SMDs, at least the larger ones, is certainly possible. In this book, you learn how to create an SMD version of a PCB in addition to the through-hole component version. In the next lecture, we'll have a look at going